did well. <laughs> Convincing a sheriff to part with his troops. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, he wasn't sure at first, but, uh, but I told him. I said, Sheriff, I said, you need the money. <laughs> and he listened. <laughs> he listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. You keep me smiling. And that sweet wife of yours won't be touched. <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> but the, the sheriff, um, won't, won't he work it out? Probably. What if, uh, oh, what, you want him to work it out? Sharp, why don't you scrub? Well, then get past you. You see, I want him to come looking for me. And I want you to help us put the pieces together. Oh, but actually, I, I, I'd rather come with you, you know, let him work it out himself. Sorry. You're no use to me if you take a long. Oh. Play part well, Scrope. Think of your wife. So what exactly is it that he wants, then, your father? He's just a tax collector. <sighs> Say it again. Just for fun. He's just a tax collector. You know, when people lie, their pulse beats a little bit faster. And Edmund, you just lied. I thought you were meant to be one of the good guys. Well, if I'm one of the good guys, what does that make your father? The person who's always been there for me. And in being there, he's always tried to bully you, right? Tried to turn you into something that you're not. He wants me to be tough and brave. Violent and manipulative. That's not what you want, though, is it? You know, you try and hide it, but there's a kindness in you. Apparently, I get that from my grandpa. You think that's a flaw, right? My father says it is. Well, it's not. Trust me. Kindness is never a flaw. No, there's no one inside. The cellar's empty. The stables are clear. If we find out who he is, that'll lead us to them. Much go back inside, see if you can find anything. Hey. John, ask around the village. If you recognize him, someone else will have as well. There's someone I need to talk to. You hungry? Because this thing's nearly ready. If you give me food, you're going to want something in return. Well, yeah, that's how it normally works. But what I really want, Edmund, is for you to think for yourself. I do think for myself. Well, that's not strictly true. And if it was true, then you never act on those thoughts. You suppress them and do what your father wants instead. He wants me to grow up. But, Edmund, you have a brain. You know that's not what he really means. What he means is he wants you to turn into him. What would you do if you were me? I'd relax. Eat some rabbit. Smoke! Smoke it! In here, Sheriff! Help! <laughs> my money. Where is my money, Squisant? It's not my fault. He took it. Rufus! I tried to stop him. How hard did you try? Oh, really hard. I, I hit him in the face. And I kicked him. Amazing. It must have been such a fight. Mm. Yeah, there's not one mark on you, guards! 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 Where are they all? Northumberland, he cannot have them all. They're with Rufus at the butchers. He bribed them. You'll have to go there if you want them back. How do you know he bribed them? Well, I, I, I saw him before I hit him. He was bribing them. Yeah, I only found out then. Scrope. Mm -hmm. You're lying. Mm. Be honest, confess. I might find it in myself to be warm and forgiving and... Underneath 
this harsh service, I'm deeply sensitive. Well, he made me lie. I didn't want to. No, he threatened to hurt my wife. I lied. Underneath this harsh surface, there's just more harsh surface. You're on time. Well, you have to eat. You're way too big to spoon feed. Go ahead. Pick it up. Stab me. Spend the rest of your life racked with guilt. I don't want to kill you. Family. That's important, right? Doing things for people who've been hurt. Well, who has been hurt? Your grandfather. That's why your father's here, isn't he? The sheriff killed him. For no reason. Because he could. Your grandfather was hurt, so your father hurts others. When's he gonna stop, Edmund? He's my father. I stick by him because what choice do I have? Oh, you always have choices. I mean... Take Robin Hood. He could have spent his entire life lording over the less fortunate, but he chose not to. I'm going to go and find my friends now. See if I can be of some use. So can I come with you? And where do you think we should be going? To the butcher shop. Midday! There's no sign of my son. It's no fun being you. Your son will be safe. Robin wouldn't hurt him. He's not like that. Robin isn't here to save you now. Rebecca. No, tell me she's all right. Please, tell me she's all right. She's been captured. By the new tax collector. I am so sorry. I can't lose her. She's my baby. I can't lose her as well. Hey, listen, we'll get her back. I promise you have my word. Robin, nothing apart from this. Oh, much. Well, it's not Gisborne's. Look at it. Butcher's Hook. Chauncey. That's the family name. Who? The old butcher. No, the butcher, he was a good man, but his son. I remember him. He was always angry. Yeah, always stealing, fighting. Well, what else can you remember? Years ago, a girl in the village got married. Do you remember, John? Oh, that's right, the butcher came with his son. And everyone had collected money for the bride and groom. Now, during the ceremony, the son, Rufus, that was his name, he was caught stealing it. And after that, his father and him disappeared. Well, I'll go home. He won't be able to help himself. He'll go home to the butchers. 